here with Candy Cooper, and this is part of our series. Every other week, we're having projects that are specially designed for teens and tweens. This is fun, Candy. My favorite. It's a lot of fun to create ideas that you could maybe make with kids, grandkids. Right. Just want to be sure that all your materials are safe for working with younger folks. Yeah, and that you're sitting alongside of, uh, of them while they're making so that it ends up a successful project. Yeah. No craft fails. Okay, so this time we're making these cute little bead cones with um, wrapped wire using this um, conical tool. So to get started, we're using 18 gauge colored wire. You could use plain silver, but why? <laughs> when, <laughs> when you can use this bright blue. And the, all I did was stick the tail down in the hole there, and then I'm just twirling the tool around. And the thing is, is these don't have to be perfect. And that's part of when you're working with kids, you wanna make sure that um, it's um, pretty foolproof, you know? So I've got one that I've already done. When you get to the end, just trim the end of the wire, you know? And then now, let's add a second color, bump it up a little bit. Uh, end of the wire goes down in that hole again. And then you're gonna start it just above the last color and just twirl, and you're just kind of filling in these spaces again. You're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, Make until you get to the end. And sometimes you don't need all of that blue coil. Um, you might have to trim some of that away too. But to um, release it from the cone, you just wanna cut there and here. And okay. then your cone is free. So we've got that, and then now, yeah, like that's too much blue at the top, so we're gonna cut some of that away. And we're also going to use our tools to sort of bend these end wires in just a little bit so it doesn't snag on your um, That's a clothing. good idea. Yeah, and you can see these are totally different. It's okay, it's all gonna work out. So um, now we're going to connect it all together for the pendant, the focal pendant. And I'm using these cute little owl links. You, um, links come in all different, shapes, sizes, whatever. The first thing you're gonna do is make a bend at the end of your wire. You wanna leave, I don't know, an inch and a half there. And then I'm using these special bail making pliers to wrap the wire up and over the top. And a lot of times when I talk to kids about making jewelry, I use it like an animal's mouth, like, okay, we're gonna put the wire in the alligator's mouth and then we're gonna twirl it around the top of his nose and, and whatever. Um, maybe tweens might roll their eyes at you if you did that though. <laughs> now that I think about it. Well. So the next thing we're doing is we're gonna um, stick the um, wire through that loop at the bottom of the owl. And then you're gonna hold on to it with the flat nose pliers. And you're just gonna wrap that around a couple times. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you just wanna connect it there. That's right. Now we're gonna stack up our um, cones and beads and whatever. I'm using these um, sparkly teardrop beads because they kind of nestle up, you know, in the cone. I like to put the back of the wire, you know, um, or the end of the wire at the back. Oh yeah, so <clears throat> just making sure that the whole front is more clean looking. That's right, smooth. And you can see that these cones have some spring to them, so you want to kind of push it up as much as you can. And now we're going to make another bend so that everything's locked in there, like so. Okay, now to end it, um, on the finished one, I used a little heart charm like this. Charms come in all kind of shapes and sizes, you know this. The one thing you wanna get rid of though is if they come with a jump ring, um, take that off because that's gonna affect how it hangs on your pendant. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and make another loop like we did when we started. Wrap that wire up over the alligator's nose. <laughs> Uh, oops, I think did I you just roll rolled your eyes. eyes. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to connect the, ch the charm. And then we're going to wrap the wire again. Hold it with the chain nose pliers. And this is like just a really fast project that you, you know, you can make with a grandkid or, you know, neighborhood kids, you know, school groups, whatever. Spring breaks, slumber parties, Girl Scouts, you got mm. it. And I think it'd be fun to have different bowls of different charms, different beads. So For there's sure. a lot of choice involved. You know, they get to make it really personal. Yeah, and something that identity. Means something to them. Yeah. Super important. To finish it, I went ahead and um, measured this chain to my neck and I kind of held it up and I was like, where do I want my pendant to fall? Okay, and instead of using jump rings, we're just keeping it simple. We're gonna open the last link of chain and I'm kneading my chain nose pliers for this thicker chain. You can find thinner chain, like the one I used for the sample. Just depends on what you have. And you're gonna close it side to side and then you're gonna grab the other end. 
So you don't even need a clasp for this type of necklace, but if you wanted to add one, you could. Exactly. If you want to make it shorter, which a lot of times, you know, I, I've worked with a lot of kids, and some of them do want it shorter, and you got to be on the ball. Be prepared. On, yeah, like what, you know, what they might want, you know? It's okay to say no, but I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> of course. I want kids to get what they want. It's supposed to be fun. So one last thing I want to mention is um, when you get to the end, make sure that um, you orient these two, the main wire here, the loops, so that they're um, running the same. So okay. that you're... Um, so you want them facing the same plane? Yeah, thank you for... You're welcome. The scientific. No problem. But you want to kind of orient these so they're in line with each other so that your heart hangs forward, your owl hangs forward, and that's your necklace. And you're ready to wear. Well, let's Quick take project. a look at our finished one here on the next stand. This one does have the thinner chain, and it does give it a little bit of a different look. And if you had lighter weight elements, too, that would be another way to make it more variable. Yeah, different colors. What a, of wire, whatever. All right, well, thanks, Candy. Yeah. This is fun. Thank you, Katie.